Hello everyone, welcome back. What we are going to learn in this video is how to set up monitoring on Kubernetes cluster using Prometheus and Grafana. So let's quickly go over the agenda. What we are going to learn is what is Prometheus and we will also learn what is Grafana and how to install both Prometheus and Grafana. What are the different uh, installation option and then why we have to go with Helm in order to install both Prometheus and Grafana. And then in order to set up these Prometheus, what is the prerequisites? For example, we need to have a cluster set up. So we will talk about that. And then we will get into the demo part. So the way we are going to approach the demo is, yes, we have to create a namespace and then we will install both Prometheus and Grafana using Helm chart in that namespace and then we will access uh, Grafana in the browser and then we will create some dashboard in order to monitor our Kubernetes cluster that includes all the cluster nodes, parts and uh, memory and CPU usage. All right, so let's get started guys. So I have put together uh, all this information in my website coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. So what is Prometheus? Prometheus is an open source monitoring tool which provides out of the box capabilities for monitoring Kubernetes clusters. Using Prometheus, you can also monitor database servers and servers as well. But scope of this video is to monitor Kubernetes cluster. The way Prometheus is going to collect the data is based on time series. So once it collects the data, it is going to store it in Prometheus. Um, it is going to store it in the persistent volume where Grafana and uh, all other tools can pull the information from Prometheus. And what is Grafana? So Grafana is an open source tool. Using Grafana, you can visualize the data collected uh, use from Prometheus. But Grafana also can uh, pull data from other monitoring tool as well. Awesome. So let's quickly go over the architecture diagram. So this is the Prometheus server, which is going to collect the data from various clusters based on pull mechanism. So it is going to uh, collect the data based on time series. Okay. And this is a Prometheus alert manager, which is going to send alert to third party systems such as Slack channel or uh, Microsoft Teams. It can also send email as well. And then this is your Grafana. Okay. And then uh, Pramati is going to collect and stores the data in the persistent volume. It's pretty straightforward, very simple architecture. Awesome. So let's get started. So if you look at the prerequisites, yes, we need to have Kubernetes cluster set up. So if you click on this link, so I have provided instruction here on how to set up EKS cluster. So I have used the uh, EKCTL command in order to set up the cluster, which is more efficient way of setting up cluster. Of course, there are other ways as well. So you can follow any one of the ways to set up your EKS cluster in AWS cloud. And my EKS cluster has a couple of nodes. So you can actually see that. So I do have two worker nodes. And then I also have installed few parts as well. Okay, so this is Spring Boot app, which I have installed. Perfect. Okay. And then I also have Helm installed as well on this machine. So if you see Helm version, it's going to tell you this is the version what I have installed, Helm 3, okay? And then I'm going to use this EC2 instance in order to access the EKS cluster. So this is a EC2 instance which I'm going to use, okay? Perfect. So now let's go ahead and then install both Prometheus and Grafana using the Helm chart. So let me go ahead and then execute this particular command. So what this is actually going to do, this is going to add the Helm stable charts to my local machine, uh, to this machine. Okay, perfect. The stable repo has been added. Okay, very good. And then let's go ahead and then add Prometheus Helm repo. So, so if you look at here, there is a community version, right, for, for Prometheus. What they have done, they have created uh, or they have combined everything in this particular Helm chart. All we have to do is go ahead and then add this Prometheus community repo. And this includes everything. This is going to have uh, Prometheus operator, 
Alert Manager, Grafana, right? Node Exporter, all the Prometheus as well as Grafana components in order to monitor the Kubernetes cluster. So we just have to go ahead and then add them. Okay, so let me go ahead and then do that. Perfect, it has been added to our repository. Awesome. And then if you like to search, you can go ahead and then perform Helm search. Okay. So let's go ahead and then say Prometheus community, right? There you go. So as you can see here, let me expand the screen. As you can see here, there are a lot of repo has been available, right? You see that there are a lot of repo, uh, a lot of uh, different ways you can install a Prometheus and these are the different, different Helm chart available. So the one, what we are going to do, we are, go we are going to use, we are going to use Cube Prometheus stack. So this one, so this is what we are actually interested in. You see that? Okay. And as you can see here, this particular stack is going to have everything, right? So that's what it is. Okay, so we'll be interested in using this particular repo. Awesome. Okay, great. So before we get started, let's go ahead and then create a namespace. Okay, let's go ahead and then create a namespace. I'm going to call this as a Prometheus namespace. Again, you can give any name, but that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead with this name. Awesome. So the namespace have been created. And then we have to just go ahead and then install the uh, cube Prometheus stack in this particular namespace. So this is the command. So help install stable and Prometheus community. So this is the stack, right? And then I want to install under Prometheus namespace. Okay, so go ahead and then execute that command. So this may take few seconds as it has to install all these components, right? In, that includes both Prometheus and Grafana and, and Node Exporter, Alert Manager and what. Awesome. As you can see here, the stack has been deployed, right? So everything is good and look at that. This has been installed. And then if you like to check if all the parts are running, again, they already gave the command or you can also write the simple command. So go ahead and then say get parts and then provide the namespace, which is nothing but Prometheus. Okay, so as you can see here, everything is up and running. We just, uh, you know, set up like what, like 30 seconds ago, right? So everything is good. And we are able to see Grafana as well, right? We are able to see Grafana. We are able to see Node Exporter. We are able to see Kubernetes State Metrics Component, Alert Manager. And then this is the actual, uh, you know, server, right? So we are able to see everything. Perfect. Okay. And then let's also go ahead and then look at the services as well. Okay, so as you can see here, so these are the services. Let me scroll a little bit to my left so that you're more clear. Yeah, there you go. You see that? So we are also able to see all these services. So we are actually interested in this one as well as, uh, what do you call, uh, as well as this one. Right, STA, this one, okay? We are interested in this one, these two. Awesome, so Prometheus and Grafana have been set up. Now all we have to do is how we are going to access them in the browser, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually edit the service of the Prometheus uh, service, right? So I'm going to go ahead and then edit the service because right now, as you can see, it is exposed as a cluster IP. So in order for me to access, I want to access through a load balancer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and edit the service. So I'm going to give this particular name and that is actually under Prometheus namespace. Okay, so go to the end of the file here and then I'm just going to change cluster IP into 
load balancer okay or you can also use node pod as well but i would like to prefer load balancer enter and then let's also go ahead and then edit this service as well kubectl edit service stable grafana and then the prometheus namespace and we are also going to expose this as a load balancer so that we can access in the ui perfect okay so now let's go ahead and then make sure everything is running everything is changed right it should uh, those two should be changed to load balancer okay there you go so as you can see here now it got changed right from cluster ip into load balancer right both of them perfect so now let's go ahead and then access grafana so i'm going to co copy this ip i'm going to go ahead and then access in the browser it might take a uh, few seconds for grafana ui to come up okay so you can give a few seconds and if you like to access prometheus you can also access on this particular port number which is 9090 so again this may also take few seconds to come up let's see so i have to enable my javascript there you go so this is your prometheus uh, server right of course this may not be like a great ui when you compare with grafana but as you can see here right you can pretty much see all these alerts and all right how it is configured and all right okay you can query it can create the uh, the ui necessary ui the ui may not be great but this is your prometheus prometheus ui okay but we are interested in uh, grafana so that you can see the data more uh, easily right okay so our grafana is actually coming up so let's log into grafana so the username is admin the password is uh, this one okay let me go ahead and then say and then enter the password which are all out of the box username and password there you go so that is our actually grafana right grafana ui but what we are going to do is we want to create some kind of a dashboard in grafana so that we can monitor our kubernetes cluster right so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and then create some kind of a dashboard in grafana so how do you create the dashboard so click on this plus symbol and then say import so there are various ways you can create cluster but i'm going to use some id right some some predetermined id so i'm going to use this id which is actually going to create uh, a kubernetes monitoring dashboard so let's go ahead and then enter that number and then click on load oh i have space here okay click on load okay and then select prometheus as the default data source and then go ahead and then click on import before that we will look at that right so this is going to create kubernetes monitoring dashboard click on import wow so look at here guys see so this is actually coming from kubernetes right so this is our cluster memory usage this is our cluster cp usage right and then when you scroll down you can see all the pods running isn't it look at that so i have my spring boot app as well right spring boot uh, pod and then these are all the default uh, pods right so we are able to see that okay look at that so this pretty much has everything for you here right container cp usage container memory usage right you can pretty much see everything using this kubernetes monitoring dashboard right and then we can also create additional dashboard as well if you like let's say you want to monitor the worker node let's go ahead and then create uh, this another dashboard using 3119 okay so let me go here 
you can discard this fine let's go ahead and click on import load and then you can choose this one and then click on import wow look at that so this is like another another dashboard right yeah so this will give you part cp usage Hey guys, so we are literally able to see all the parts running. So yeah, so you can create variety of dashboard uh, in Grafana by mentioning the the number, right? Yeah, so that's it, guys. You know, that's how you can monitor your Kubernetes cluster using both Prometheus and Grafana. Thank you for watching this video.